This is Atheist Lowdown with Mark Vandebrink. Welcome to the Lowdown, your weekly secular news aggregate. Here are the headlines for the week of Saturday, August 27th, 2016. Secular Coalition for America has given presidential candidate Hillary Clinton an A and Donald Trump an F with regard to secular issues. At secularvaluesvoters.org, the group assessed the candidates on questions related to the separation between church and state, prejudice against the non-religious, pro-abortion stance, support for sex education, and other topics. Donald Trump believes America to be a Judeo-Christian nation, wants to allow churches to meddle in politics, and does not believe in climate change. Executive director of the group, Larry Decker, said, quote, These guides will empower secular voters to hold political candidates accountable. Donald Trump's flunking grade should serve as a wake-up call to his campaign about the political peril of pandering to the religious right. This divisive rhetoric no longer resonates with an American electorate that increasingly accepts science, embraces religious pluralism, and values the separation between church and state. It seems that secular voters are taking notice. A July Pew Research Center poll found that 67% back Clinton, while only 23% support Trump. And the candidates should also take notice, as the secular vote is now the largest religious affiliation voting bloc in the nation. In November, we will have a sec special report on the 2016 campaign, which will highlight atheist and secular candidates and take a closer look at the positions of the four primary presidential nominees. Atheists and Protestants are interested in similar qualities when searching for a new community of like-minded individuals. According to new polling from the Pew Forum, nearly half of Americans have looked for a new congregation at some point in their lives. 24% of the atheist agnostics have done so, compared with 56% of non-Catholic Christians. The two groups are similar in that they both value quality of sermons, styles of worship, feeling welcomed, although atheists reported lower percentages in all these categories. California Democratic Senator Ricardo Laura recently removed a liability provision from a bill that initially sought to end exemptions from federal and state anti-discrimination laws with regard to sexual orientation from California's religious schools. NPR reports that the bill would have forced schools to, quote, change its faith-based policies, stop admitting students on state aid, or be sued. Opponents charge that the law would impose a religious test for state benefits. Supporters claim to simply be protecting LGBT students from harm. The current proposal would mandate schools to disclose exemptions to current and future students. Laura said he would seek to pass the original bill sometime next year. I would like to end with a clarification of the goals for this show. The Atheist Lowdown is a news aggregate vlog highlighting need-to-know issues and events in the secular community. Yet some of our stories in isolation as standalone news items may not seem particularly important or pressing for our viewers to know about. However, when such stories are chosen, it is because they highlight broader issues are part of a larger pattern or shed light on historical trends. For instance, the previous story was merely a failed bill in a single state. But it is illustrative of the balance being debated between the rights of individuals in a secular society with that of religious liberty. And it also demonstrates the difficulty of passing such legislation in even a liberal-leaning state such as California. Furthermore, the state is not subject to the same obstacles as the 21 other states that have Religious Freedom Restoration Acts, which prioritize religious beliefs. As a recently launched program, we are still trying to find our voice and are searching for the proper content and structure by which we deliver you the news. And that's a review of the major stories for this week. As always, if you would like to contribute, email us or comment below. Take it easy. 
You may have noticed that our show was released on Saturday instead of Friday. This is a permanent move due to scheduling changes. Thanks for your patience.